I wasn't confident in that. I mean, I've always been, um, you know, what would call a, a slight extrovert, but I wasn't confident in my job. I had to learn it. And knowledge is real power. There's no two ways about that. And the joy is when you start to learn something that you're interested in, that's not being thrust upon you at school, which we often have, let's face it. And you just get excited about it and it takes you to that next level and that's how you grow. You feel like a little sunflower with your head going up to the sun. My name is Mary Portas and I have a consultancy. Particularly I specialise in retail. I'm also a presenter, I do TV, I write books predominantly on business and I'm an activist as well and try and make this world a bit better than the world that, well, certainly I've been living in for the last 20 years. I'm not sure work experience existed when I was younger, God. That's how old I am. I was in a convent school and I think they sent you to places where you'd look after, you know, an ageing population. You'd go to old care homes and... But I don't remember work experience per se. But here's the thing. I don't remember knowing what I wanted to do at all, apart from being an actress. And um, when that fell apart for me, um, when my, both my parents, I lost both my parents before I was 19, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I wouldn't have even dreamt or known that I could be what I am today. Not even come into my psyche at all. And I do have quite a creative brain. So for me, work experience or being in places that just unfold or just opens a door or a little view into a world that you could possibly step into is utterly, utterly vital. My first job um, was Saturday Girl, you know, and we all did that. Everybody had a Saturday job. I think my mother, was, I was one of five kids, she shoved us all out the door as soon as possible to do that. I loved it. I was first in the baker's and um, I just had to add everything up. My God, my maths was terrible. But, you know, someone would come in and say, I'd like a split tin and a bloomer and a five rolls <laughs> and I'll have that cake. And it would just be, oh my gosh, I was 15. But then I went to work in Boots the Chemist and my sister worked there. So I went in and I loved it, you know. And I remember more than anything, I mean, great actually doing the prescriptions and advising people, but just it was this interaction to me. So I, I guess for me, I realised I wanted to be in somewhere where I was connecting with people. I didn't think I'd end up in retail. I certainly didn't want to be on the sales side, but it did spark a little bit of a joy for me. I think really interestingly what I had to do and learn on a Saturday job, for me particularly, was not only interacting with customers, you do have to learn how to negotiate situations, you know? Because people will be angry, your prescription's late, why isn't that ready? <laughs> and you suddenly are in this position of representing a business and I sort of kind of like that. And I used to listen to the pharmacist or I'd listen to the elder women who worked in there permanently and pick up little tips from that. You know, you learn, I learned visual merchandising, displaying how to put stuff out on the shelves. And I enjoyed that, you know, we'd take a turn in who was going to dress the windows. Dressing the windows isn't all joy, you have to also clean the damn things out. So I learned actually also teamwork, which is really, really important. Who's going to take over when you're on your lunch? Don't be back late from lunch because someone else has to hang on and do a bit longer. So I think you just grow. I mean, you come out from a family where you're cared for from your parents, particularly your mother, and then you're out there on your own and you're judged on what you're doing, not necessarily on your age. I mean, I don't think people looked and thought, oh, there's a poor 16-year-old kid. You're in there with the rest of them. I think the really key things that I learned was it was about teamwork. And when I mean teamwork, I mean a really interconnectedness. It was we, not me. You have I learned how to negotiate, support, and people doing that in turn to me. I love that. I think that was very important. I learned how to communicate, you know, to really dealing with customers and speaking with people up to the management, senior management, and, you know, me at the lowest end, though, being able to do that without a great deal of fear. So knowing how to speak to them and learning how to do that and knowing when to... So communicating on different levels, I thought was really important, from the senior management to the customers. And I think the really important thing here, and I've kept it through my life, is responsibility, show up. Show up. Because it would have been easy on a Saturday morning after you'd been going out clubbing on a Friday night not to turn up to your Saturday job, but you do. Firstly, because my mother would have just kicked me out the door. But secondly, there was that level of, if you don't turn up, someone else has to pick up this for you. Be responsible. You know, be dutiful. So I learned those, I think. Being yourself isn't always being the one who's confident in what you do. 
often it's not that. It's often being vulnerable and being able to say, I don't know how to do this. Can you show me? And let me tell you, anyone who's listening to this, any boss will accept that. What you don't accept is pretending that you can do it, because that is the worst. So if you can't do it, ask, ask for help. No one judges you on that. And actually, bosses quite like people being honest and vulnerable, much more than bullshitting. Well, I think the 16-year-old Mary is the advice I'd give to a 16-year-old person today is don't be so fearful. Um, and you will get through this. Just do your best. Be honest, be open and be vulnerable, it's okay, it's okay. And actually, you will never believe how well you'll end up. You just won't believe it. If someone had told me that's gonna be your life, I'd have gone, don't be ridiculous. Without work experience, I wouldn't have known the world of work that I ended up being in. I think the most important thing, that, and I use it a lot, I use it with my children, who are now in their 20s and one who's 10, is do not be afraid, you know? Fear really holds so many of us back. From school, am I good enough? Am I good enough? You know, am I going to pass that exam? Am I going to be liked enough? Everybody feels that. Everybody feels that. So just don't be afraid. Go out there and just try and be yourself. And you will learn for it. There's going to be times where you'll feel, I didn't get that right and it's excruciating. But that's when you grow. That is absolutely when you grow. So it's not growing from being brilliant at everything. Let me tell you, my greatest learnings have been when I've tripped up. And it's how I've just been able to sit back, feel terrible for a bit. Of course, you're all going to feel that. But you will grow and you will learn from it. So don't be afraid. <laughs>